G'day, Angus here for another monthly update. You've caught me out on the road in the New England. There's been a few storms that have passed through and the grass is starting to shoot, which is good. A nice green tinge. March was a pretty steady month for us for sheep. We had 183,000 sheep listed, but it was a bumper month for us for cattle. 48,000 were listed in total, which puts us up there with one of our biggest months yet. Great to see that clearance is also on the improve as we start as the market responds to the rain. Our lamb sales have wrapped up for another year. We saw a 15% increase in the number of vendors using it, an in increase of 17% in the number of assessors using it. However, this only equated to about a 3% increase in the number of total lambs listed in the sales. Pretty clear picture there. There was a tent, positivity and excitement about using it as a sales channel, but the volume and the numbers just weren't there to utilize it. Our Young Guns initiative is well and truly underway. We've had over a dozen nominees already. We've started marketing and announcing those nominees. The award is about celebrating the next generation of assessors. So if you've got an assessor who is under the age of 30, make sure you jump online and nominate he or she ASAP so we can get their name and their brand and the positive things that they do out to our wider community. The monthly machinery sales are well underway. We ran our first one a week ago and we had 19 lots listed in it. Our machinery sales will be running the first week of every month. Now we all have those unused and idling machinery items laying around the ground or laying around the yard. So make sure you contact your local agent or Auctions Plus office ASAP before the next one, which kicks off in three weeks time. Now, if you're out at the Easter show this Friday, we're having a few nibbles and drinks down at the cattle judging lawns at 6.30. So make sure you come and say g'day and meet the rest of the team. And important to note, over the Easter and Anzac Day weekends, our sale times, cutoffs, and start times have all potentially shifted. So make sure you jump into the catalogue, confirm and check what those times and dates are. Final wrap up is I'd like to introduce to you our new starters. We have Tom Coe, who's our CFO, Lucas Postle Waite, who is our marketing manager, and David Pirelli, who started with us as a front end developer. I'll bring you an introduction to those three guys in, in the next episode when I'm back in the office back in the office. Catch you in a month's time.